Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. Next week's trip to the Montana Bee. There's the pack rat structure that I went and uncovered last week and sampled it. And essentially it all came out uh, well below the grade that we would need to operate. I mean, it was if you had a whole mountain of this and you could heap leach it, That'd be some good stuff. It's all less than a tenth of an ounce to the ton. Except for a sample right there. Came out better than an ounce to the ton. And either that's just a little pocket, which is entirely possible. Or what we got there is just nugget effect. The particular sample that the uh, lab got had uh, extra gold in it. Impossible to tell without doing a lot more tests, which aren't really justified. So, now the plan is to uh, go down here and uh, trench across this structure at depth, the bottom of the tunnel, and see what we get there. So, let me get rigged and down and go from there. Okay, here we are. The shaft's over there. That's the ladder. That's the 30-foot mark from the ladder. And you can see the structure they were mining along, although they didn't try and stope any of this. They did there. So that indicates to me that's ore, and this is not. Otherwise, I would have taken it out a little higher. Why not give you more headroom? Now, down here. I don't see any porosity or detail. That's been cleaned down to bedrock and brushed off. I don't see anything there that gets me excited, but I will nevertheless sample that. Over here, by the decline, we have a different story. Here it's very irregular. You can see where they dug that out there. Kind of come along this section here. And then listen to the rock. This. You can hear how that's loose a little bit. So that's definitely not solid bedrock there. So let me cut a trench across here to sample. I'll start chiseling in the bedrock. Well, trenched it out a little bit using the scratch test. This looks more like dolomite. This looks more silicious over here. None of it has the porosity like that that we're really looking for here. So, not very hopeful. I'll get a sample of it. Oh. Uh, again, if you have a whole mountain of low grade, it can be useful. And then, back here. have a similar situation. This seems to be more the dolomite and this up here is more silicious, more silica in it. None of it looks really interesting. See is that dark brown porous stuff there. It looks uh, juicy. And none of this has the porosity. Very pockety. Very annoying. It would be nice if it was all nice and consistent high grade. But that's not the way life works. 
Okay, let me get these samples taken and then head on up and see what time it is. Probably start working the middle decline. Well, here I am, the middle decline, getting ready to go down there. Somebody pulled this cable out of there. This cable hangs above the 40 foot station and gives us a place to hook the uh, uh, rope to down there. And let me check, I see a, an end here. Yeah, just from that, so yeah, I've got to take this down there, get it laid out, and then start taking some samples. I got probably about where that first set is down there. That's some good ore there. So at the end of this lagging, I need to get a sample there, and then another one 20 feet beyond that to complete the stuff above the 40 station. And then I got to get some more below the 40 foot station. So let me get it all put together here. Okay, there's the uh, surface up there. Looks like there's humidity in the camera. There's the 40 foot station. Whoa. And there's the decline past it. Uh, glad I got a Prusik. To Keep me when I lose grip. Anyhow, I'm gonna have to hang this thing up and uh, use both hands now. Well, here we are at the 40 foot station. This is your perpendicular vein, which they were sinking on. Here you have your wall rock. You can see the laminations in it, the sedimentary laminations. Here, they left some of this perpendicular vein here, and this sampled pretty good. I took a sample right here, and it ran pretty good. Don't know why they left it. Uh, as a general rule, you'd think you'd want to peel that stuff off so it's not hanging over your head. As far as I can tell, that's some good material there. And here's, I don't know, 20 tons of it right there. And this vein here looks like it's part of the perpendicular vein, that white stuff. But I can't tell for sure. But I think we really need to peel a bunch of this off. Or working up there too if it's good. So that's why I got to get some samples. See they had a platform there at one time. Might have to work our way across there peeling that wall, putting in fresh stoles in a platform, and then working our way down slicing it. But I mean there's <laughs> There's at least 20 tons of rock right there that visually looks pretty good. I don't know. But uh, it shouldn't be too hard to peel off. Okay. For some reason that cable didn't make it all the way down to the station. Let me go back up there and see what got hung up. Go around here. Underneath the airline, uh, over here to the other platform. So here's the lower decline right here. There's Pack Rat Penthouse right there. Ladder way to surface. So I got to go up there, climb the hill, blah blah blah. So. There's all the samples we need from this area for now. And uh, time to pack up the gear. Enjoy a nice quiet evening. 
and head on in the morning. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.